Hi everyone, and welcome to St. Martin's YouTube channel. Well, this week's Kids Spot is talking about the story of Palm Sunday, because it's only one week to Easter. And we're going to find our story in the book of Luke, chapter 21, verse 28 to 40. And it starts off with Jesus and his disciples traveling to Jerusalem because they're going there for the Passover festival. Anyway, as they're approaching, Jesus calls over two of his disciples. Now, guys, I've got a very important job. I want you to go into the nearest town and you're going to find a young donkey tied up there. And it's never been ridden, okay? Uh -huh. All right. Now, this donkey, you need to untie it and bring it back to me, okay? Uh -huh. All right. Now, if anyone says, what are you doing? Just say, the Lord needs it. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. All right, let's go. Now, guys. That way. Anyway, they found the donkey and it was exactly as Jesus said. So, anyway, after they found the donkey, they brought it to Jesus. <laughs> anyway, Jesus rode along on the donkey and everyone was really excited about the arrival of the new king. Oh. And they were so excited, they spread cloaks all on the ground. Oh. And palm leaves too. Oh. And there was a large crowd that was so happy and they were praising God, waving those palm leaves and saying, Hosanna in the highest, which means praise God. Blessed is the king who has come in the name of the Lord. But you know what, boys and girls? There were some people there who weren't that excited about Jesus coming. The Pharisees were really angry and they were telling the, the disciples, hey, stop those people praising God and shouting out. But you know what Jesus said? Jesus said if the people stop shouting, even the rocks on the ground will start praising my name. Not the rock! Oh! oh. Well, boys and girls, as you can see, the crowd was very, very excited seeing Jesus arriving in Jerusalem, the new king. But not everyone was excited. You saw the Pharisees, they were angry. And the reason why they were angry is because they were jealous of Jesus. Before Jesus came along, everyone would listen to them and they had real power amongst the people. But now everyone was listening to Jesus and his new teaching. And they stopped listening so much to the Pharisees. They were really angry, so they came up with a terrible plan. They wanted to get rid of Jesus. They started spreading all these lies about Jesus, things that definitely were not true. And, you know, even the people started to believe the Pharisees and, and go against Jesus. And it was just a few days later that he was arrested and taken to Pontius Pilate and who sentenced him to death on a cross. And on Good Friday, we remember how Jesus died on the cross. Now, do you know, boys and girls, Jesus didn't have to do that. He could have stopped it. He had the power to, but he loves us so much that he knew that he had to die for our sins, for the sins that we've committed. That's because he loves us so much. Isn't it great that we have a God who would do that for us, who loves us so much that God would send his son to die for us so that he could be with us forever? All right. Well, in a few days, it's going to be Good Friday, and I hope to see you on our YouTube channel then. All right, see ya.